So here we go for a quick presentation, how to invest in crypto safely. Not guaranteeing will make you billions of dollars, but at least make sure that you don't lose the money that you already have. Quick disclaimer there, everything involves risk, even crossing the road. Putting money on term deposit at the bank or buying government bonds involves risk. There's currently no advisors in the world who are licensed to provide cryptocurrency advice. There is plenty of people who can provide education. However, you just have to make sure that you're getting advice from someone who actually knows what they're talking about and not just some random person on YouTube or TikTok. And make sure they've got some experience with the tips that you're about to write down in a moment will be the ones that will save you from more than 90% of the scams. So as I said, there's risk in everything. You wake up in the morning, you sneeze wrong, date the wrong person, there's always risk. So what is risk exactly? And the illustration that I've got here today, two puppies jump out of an aeroplane. Puppy A has a parachute, puppy B does not. And question I want to ask you, which puppy is taking the most risk? Go on, put your hand up. I can see you. I'm looking at you. If it's puppy A with the parachute, put your hand up. If you think it's puppy B who's taking the most risk without the parachute, put your hand up. Okay, everybody who said B is wrong, <laughs> that's okay. It's not a problem. It's just a learning moment. So what we're looking at here is that puppy B knows exactly what's going to happen. As soon as he steps out of the aeroplane, he's going to go rapidly towards the earth, followed by a sudden stop. There is no other thing that can happen apart from that because gravity exists. Puppy A, when he jumps out of the plane with the parachute, his parachute might fail to open. It might open and then he gets dragged by a wind into some power lines or into some water or something like that. So puppy A actually has the risk because he's not sure exactly what is going to happen. And that's how we define risk, is the departure from what you think is going to happen. So sometimes you put your money in the bank and the bank closes up shop, or you know, government bonds can default every now and then. So there's, there's risk, but if you know what you're doing, you can actually manage the risk. So how do we manage risk? Is you either know what you're doing, and again, doesn't matter whether you're driving a car, building a house, crossing the road, whatever. If you know what you're doing, most times you can minimize your own risk. If you don't know what you're doing, then you hire someone else to do it for you, which is why if you can't drive, you get an Uber driver. If you can't build a house, you hire a qualified builder. If you can't do your brain surgery, you hire someone else who's qualified to do that and you continue to do what you love to do. So you can either do it yourself or have someone else do it for you. That's the basic two ways of managing risk. Now this is the fun part, okay? So grab your pens, grab your pads, grab something, write this down. There's only four points and it's only four letters. So it's very, very easy to write down. If you think you're not gonna use the information, then write it down anyway, because you might use it later. Um, one of your friends, family members, cousins, children's, grandchildren may actually find the information incredibly valuable, even if you don't. So how to choose altcoins safely, four steps, Write it down. Let's do it. And number one, C. Check the C-suite. Check the CEO. Check the CFO. Check the COO. You don't even need to know what those things stand for. But when you hear about a new coin, check them out on their website. Find out who the team is behind it. Um, sometimes with the scams, they will have just Google images of pretty beautiful people with fake names. So what you want to do is right click on those names, search Google for them, put the names into LinkedIn, see if that person is actually got that coin in their job description if they are working on the project. Because obviously if they're not, that's a scam and you want to avoid the scams. You want to make sure that the company is being run by someone who's real and someone who knows what they're doing. Very simple. Number two, O. What's the offering? What's the operation? What do they do? So there's a few companies out there like Power Ledger enables you to sell your solar power to your next door neighbors rather than selling it to the power company. Um, also allows you to buy your power off your next door neighbors rather than buy it from the power company. So it cuts out the middleman. 
Bitcoin is like digital gold that can be emailed from one person to another across countries without going through the banks. Again, cutting out the middleman, keeping the costs down. So those are examples of some good projects that actually do something. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of coins out there which are just nothing. They're jokes like Dogecoin or Shibicoin or Squidcoin or whatever the hell they are. They don't have any offering. They don't have any operation and you should steer well clear of those. Okay, number three, I. We're going quickly. Write these down. C-O-I. So I is for investors. Who's investing into the project? Are they crazy people uh, or are they actually serious? So obviously we've got some of the biggest billionaires in the world who are buying into Bitcoin. We've got hedge fund billionaire managers like uh, Michael Saylor, Raoul Powell, um, these kind of guys, JP Morgan, who are buying into Bitcoin. Uh, Richard Branson actually bought into Power Ledger because he's very big on solar and renewable energies. That's just one of his fun projects. And also he's got people who can do the research. He's got other people who are much smarter than him and who have a lot more time on their hands. So if Branson's buying into a project, it might be a decent project. If your friends on Instagram or TikTok or whatever are crapping on about this coin, then maybe find out a little bit more about it before you actually put your money in there. Sometimes they're investors, sometimes they're idiots. You've got to know the difference. Okay, last point, N for a network. Number four is N. So this particular project does have a strong network, does it have strong followings. There are, there are a lot of people talking about it on the social medias, on the Twitters, on the Telegrams and Facebooks and, and that sort of stuff. Do they have websites where you can actually chat? Because you want to identify how many other people are actually into this coin, talking about this coin, researching this coin with their friends. Um, obviously, Again, some of the scams like the Dogecoin and the Shibicoin, you know, you might have made, if you got in early, you might have made 64 million percent, but then who's going to buy it from you? Whereas if you're buying a decent company, a decent project, there's a lot of people talking about Bitcoin, there's a lot of people talking about, I don't know, stocks in Microsoft or Tesla or something like that. So when you want to sell, there's going to be someone who actually wants to buy those things. And that's the key part is getting in to a good project without being scammed. But then also being able to take your money out when you want to take your money out. So you want to find out who's talking about this and some of the people in the network will actually know things that you don't know and you can share information with them. That is it. Very, very simply, it's four steps. C-O-I-N, the C-suite, the offering, the investors and the networks. Cointelegraph back in 2017, 2018 when Bitcoin was going nuts. Um, and there was only about 7,000 other coins on the market, Cointelegraph reported that 92.5% of the coins on the market were scams. Now, <laughs> there's more than 13,000 coins on the market, so it's pretty well doubled, and the ratio is about the same. There's around about 90% of them are scams. So if you do the four-step process, you will avoid the scams. Again, not promising you that you'll make millions, but at least you won't lose by investing in something which is just what we call a pump and dump or a rug pull or a complete scam where they just take your money and run away. It's very simple, four-step process. A project, if it gets four stars, if it gets one, then no. <laughs> if it gets three, maybe do some more research into it. It is pretty simple. So that's it. Now you are smarter than 99% of the investors out there in the crypto market. If you want to do it yourself, there's plenty of free resources available at Krillionaire.com. It's like crypto with millionaire smushed together. Krillionaire.com, you can read all about different coins and projects. Again, looking at the four-step coin protocol to avoid the scams. If you want someone to do it for you, then you can go to Boston, bostontrading.co. The Boston coin is a diversified portfolio of like 35 different cryptocurrency projects as well as cryptocurrency stocks inside of there. So obviously if one goes down, the other one goes up and it, it tends to balance out. For the last three years, the portfolio has actually outperformed Bitcoin. So it's been doing very well for a long time. If you want someone to do it for you, otherwise if you've got time, you're more than welcome to do it yourself. And if you've got your phone, you can take a picture of that little QR code there, sign up for the free newsletter, and you'll also get a book about learning about stocks, property, bonds, interest rates, timing the market, the economic clock, a lot of other macroeconomic stuff that does dovetail in nicely with cryptocurrency. There you go, 10 minutes, four points, easy done. 
Not promising you'll make a million bucks, but at least you'll get to keep the money that you do have. Take care.